today I'm going to give away my best kept secret as a lyricist, which is Master Writer. Prior to Master Writer, this was my process. I'd use a marble notebook and this ratty old rhyming dictionary. But Master Writer is a powerful suite of writing tools that can be accessed anywhere from your desktop, your tablet, or your smartphone. It saves as you work, so even if you close your browser, all of your songs will be exactly as you left them. So what I'm gonna do is first log into Master Writer. The first thing I see is all my stored works, which in this case are songs I've been working on and some ideas I've been brainstorming. I'll open up a few so you can see what the interface looks like. By default, it opens the songs in split mode, which gives you half the screen for your lyrics and the other half for the amazing tools that will help you in the song creation process. I'll click full screen on this one, which is sometimes helpful when you've finished writing and want more screen real estate to read all the lyrics. And now for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna start a new song and we'll show you the tools that are available. There's an enormous rhyming dictionary that includes rhyme phrases from popular culture, sayings, cliches, and popular word combination. This is the deepest rhyming dictionary I've ever come across as it not only includes exact rhymes, but it also includes rhymes that are close, wide, and the widest stretch from the word. The first thing I'm gonna do is click on rhymes and put the word writer in the search box. The first thing I see is all the words that rhyme with the word writer. If I double click on one of these words, the word is automatically saved to a bank of collected words. The collective word list can be accessed at any time and I'll show you that later. The next thing I'll do is go into the filters and this is where Master Writer shines above all other writing dictionaries and similar programs. First I'll check out rhymes that are close to my word, such as Viper, which isn't the exact rhyme as it has a P in it instead of a T, but it obviously still rhymes. I'll also grab Knight Rider because that show was awesome and then I'll scroll through the four different pages of close rhymes. I'm gonna grab disposable diaper before changing the filter to wide rhymes. Wide rhymes are more of a stretch than close rhymes, but again, they still rhyme. They're just words you may not have originally thought of. Under wide rhymes, I've got pages of these as well, and I'll grab umpire, spitfire, and the next thing I'm gonna do is further filter this list by syllables. I'll start with seven. As you can see, popular phrases are also included when you filter. I'm gonna go back to perfect rhymes, and my list of available words will shrink as I get more complex. With five syllables, there's only one word. So I'll choose teletypewriter, and then also include four syllable rhymes, and I'll grab copywriter, and then I'll open it up with two syllable rhymes. But let's not forget to check the widest rhyme filter, which you'll see there are even more options to choose, like ciphers and paralyzers. And then let's change the filter to phrases, which are popular phrases that end with a word that rhymes based on your chosen rhyme criteria. So let's open this up to close phrases, and I'll grab paper tiger and none the wiser. And then maybe I need a phrase to have a specific amount of syllables. So I'll choose six and change the type of rhyme to wide, in which this case shows there aren't any. When I go to widest, I can grab beast-like desires or street fighter. If I choose last word, it will have popular phrases that end with the word I was originally trying to rhyme. Next, we'll check out the world filter, which will include rhymes of icons of American and world culture. So I'll grab Tom Snyder and Oscar Mayer. In addition to rhymes, there are some great tools like a built-in thesaurus and dictionary. If I click on synonyms, I'll see a bunch of words that mean the same thing as writer. And from here, I can still double-click these words and they will be added to my collected word list. We can also look at the dictionary, which is helpful if you found a cool word but are unsure of the meaning. Alliterations is a whole nother realm of alliterate word descriptions with filters that allow you to search by part of speech, word polarity, and word intensity. So I can look specifically for adjectives or adverbs and then further filter them by their families. Are they generally positive or negative words? Or moderate or intense words? Verbs can be also filtered further by tense, such as all verbs that end in ed. Under the tools on the right is where you'll find your collected words and other tools such as a sketch pad, which is great for getting down ideas. Or I can collect song info, which is useful if you're working with other writers. You can assign publishing percentages and choose their performance rights organization and things such as the key, tempo, and length of the song can be filled in. There's also an audio recorder, which is useful if you want to sing in your melody or import an MP3 that you can play while you write. 
There's even a link to the Brainy Quote website, which is a great tool if you're using Master Writer for creative writing instead of songwriting. And finally, there's a section called The World, which is a unique collection of over 11,000 icons of American and world culture that will help put colorful elements and images into your writing. So I can look at a list of infamous people or bands inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, or I can look at places and then choose mountains, and I'll add Blue Ridge Mountains to my collected words list. Or maybe I need a Bible quote, and they're all here. I can even reference Wikipedia if I need additional info on my subject. Finally, I'll go back to my collected words list, which is saved, so even if I access this song later from my smartphone, I'll see all the rhymes, alliterations, and world references that are previously earmarked. To sum it up, Master Writer is an awesome app that saves as you go and gives you the ultimate tools to take your creative writing to the next level. I highly recommend it for singers, songwriters, MCs and rappers, and creative writers.